Okay. So, uh, we're going to close uh, this track, this journey through um, open street map in uh, Francophone countries, mostly IT Africa with uh, one research project uh, and um, a couple of views of uh, the issues or the difficulties that uh, have to be overcome uh, when you try to organize a grassroots uh, OpenStreetMap collective in those countries and carry out OpenStreetMap, open data, free geomatics uh, animation programs. So the session is going to be twofold. After that presentation, there will be a sort of roundtable around that. Uh, and um, here we're going to start talking about cohesion and cohesion uh, is um, a research project uh, about um, health geography and malaria which aims at better capturing the social territorial constructions of inequalities uh, so that uh, a territorial diagnosis and uh, material to support decision making in Boaké can take place. That's a project which uh, somehow fits into that general approach of us, which try to find a way through uh, the specifics of the context of South French speaking uh, countries and uh, the main issues that uh, are ahead for uh, OpenStreetMap and uh, any kind of uh, free geographical information system, uh, open data and free software projects, which is basically how to adapt uh, free practices that are voluntary based happening in rich countries from the north uh, in uh, poor countries of the south. Uh, while remaining faithful to uh, OpenStreetMap principles. Um, so, research is uh, one part of uh, that equation, and uh, that research project, Cohesion, is a research program with OpenStreetMap. It's not per se a research project about OpenStreetMap, but this is uh, a health geography research project using OpenStreetMap and supporting OpenStreetMap at the same time. Uh, it's uh, something that, uh, that happened uh, through a legacy and uh, an history of uh, work and relations in between uh, Institut de Recherche pour le Développement IRD uh, researchers and uh, people from uh, the OpenStreetMap world, uh, people from uh, Les Libres Geographes, people from uh, many of OpenStreetMap uh, collectives in Western Africa, namely uh, people from OpenStreetMap Ivory Coast. And um, what uh, has been possible and instrumental to uh, strike the relation has been uh, the constant support of Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie uh, from 2014 to 2017, uh, which allows uh, cooperation, so the training uh, to take place and uh, to build trust uh, in the ability of OpenStreetMap and OpenStreetMap mappers to um, serve as uh, the way forward for uh, geodata creations and uh, meeting uh, geographical information needs for research projects while at the same time empowering uh, young researchers, partners of uh, IRD and uh, main actors of uh, the geographical and the territories in which uh, IRD projects are working so that the D of Institut de Recherche pour le Développement uh, is something which ultimately is real and uh, that a research project is going to deliver way more than just uh, the results, some classic capacity buildings, but will allow uh, a wider ecosystem to form and benefit from uh, an ongoing research. So, 
uh, that project has been uh, put up mainly by people from IRD and uh, and Les Libres Géographes, but the consortium behind uh, cohesion is wider. Uh, you've got mainly two labs of IRD, uh, Mivejek and Espace Dev. You've got the Clark University, uh, the Institut Pierre Richer, the Centre de Recherche pour le Développement, Centre de Tomologie Médicale et Vétérinaire. Uh, the later being Ivorine uh, Research Centers, uh, the Association Les Libres Geographes, and mappers from the Association OpenStreetMap Ivory Coast. The funding is through the French National Research Agency, and basically, uh, Cohesion is a, a health geography project uh, tackling malaria and seeking to understand better through malaria how the city form itself and how the forming of the cities and the differences that uh, appears that translate into inequalities have an importance in terms of uh, public health. So, uh, what's going to be unfold on the geographical component of cohesions will be, not surprisingly, open data creations uh, using uh, satellite imagery and uh, remote mapping tied to uh, creation on the field uh, using and harnessing all the tools available for uh, OpenStreetMap, uh, but uh, mainly um, mainly OSM, uh, OSM IND, OSM Tracker, uh, Open Data Kit, as well as Mapillary. Um, and um, all the data are created through cohesions um, that are geographical data not tied to individual are going to be shared uh, via the various means of uh, sharing data that exist in OpenStreetMap, but on top of that, uh, data will be contributed to uh, a special data infrastructure uh, based on uh, Geo Orchestra and uh, managed by uh, Les Libres Geographes, as well as the Hume Data Platform uh, managed by the United Coordination for Humanitarian Affairs. Um, <coughs> A good deal of uh, data analysis are going to be run uh, to carry out uh, the various circles and phases of, uh, of work and uh, target essentially uh, the areas where further investigations on biomedicals and social sciences are going to be carried out during the project's life of four years. And, uh, of course, uh, analysis will be run uh, to identify patterns about um, uh, various health and uh, social aspects of, uh, of malaria. Uh, data visualization will be there. And uh, what's going to be new in, uh, in, this, uh, in this project will be the attention uh, around training and uh, capacity building both internal within the consortium team, but also uh, towards any actors uh, active uh, in Boaké, starting with people in charge of health, starting in charge of um, the, the social... Uh, the, um, the management of, uh, of the city and uh, various associations and NGOs that are working there. In terms of scientific valorizations on top of classic stuff like talks in conference and uh, publications of articles, um, we will uh, kick off uh, an open uh, science lab uh, and uh, get community actions going. So that's uh, what's going to be unfolded uh, throughout this project uh, of research with OpenStreetMap. Uh, out of the next two years uh, or three years, there will be four phases of mainly three phases of work: uh, a urban geographical survey that happen uh, in uh, early spring, 
in Ivory Coast in Boaké. Um, then uh, there will be a very thorough entomological and uh, social sciences surveys that will uh, that will happen at two distinct moments in times and all the way through the project there will be a constant uh, actions uh, around capacity building trainings and also scientific valorization so what we can say at the moment about uh, the impact of that project uh, after having conducted uh, the first phase of, um, of survey um, involving people that have been trained around OpenStreetMap in Boaké and, uh, and in Abidjan and uh, mapped the entire city of Boaké, which is the second city in Ivory Coast, uh, of a total of populations of 1.2 or 3 million people, um, is that uh, the project delivered really on capacity building with um, 20 participants highly trained with uh, all uh, the technicalities of uh, using uh, OpenStreetMap tools for data creations and uh, remotely or on the grounds. Uh, and they've been doing that in various roles. They've been doing that as surveyors, but also as co-facilitators or animators. And uh, they've been associated to uh, the making of the project, specifically uh, all the decisions that uh, have been made in terms of framing the approach, building uh, the data outreach, building the data models, and um, thinking ahead of all the analysis that were going to be made with uh, the data in the various phases of work of that project. Um, in terms of open data, uh, a comprehensive reference, a set of comprehensive reference data set have been created uh, over Boaké. Uh, mainly all the buildings uh, that shows in um, the free imagery available for tracing in OpenStreetMap have been mapped for the whole city. Uh, all else, educations and government structures of the city have been uh, extensively mapped as well as water points, uh, all collective and, uh, and uh, community water points, places of worships uh, and markets, places. Uh, in terms of outreach, outreach and partnerships, uh, since the very beginning of the project in the kickoff meeting, uh, local governments uh, have been uh, brought in, as well as uh, people from uh, uh, the um, two directorates, both at the region and at the department, uh, practitioners that uh, have been part of uh, the three weeks training that take place and prepare the, the four weeks uh, survey of the city. Um, the next steps on the geographical work package um, is about um, managing better uh, the data that has been created so that reference data sets can be shared over uh, the two SDI, the one managed by Le Libre Geograph uh, around Geo Orchestra and uh, the Hume Data platform managed by the HDX project of UN Ocha. Um, imagery uh, is going to be acquired and uh, very fresh imagery, high resolutions, uh, so a project is, uh, is ongoing on that front and uh, remote sensing work uh, is being done uh, using archives of uh, imagery available for the project via a collaboration with Maison de la Télédétection in uh, Montpellier in France and um, one of uh, the main uh, GIS uh, young researcher of the project uh, is going to work for three months in uh, Montpellier uh, building up his skills around um, collecting data with drones and uh, manipulating uh, imagery um, with uh, folks from uh, Maison de la Télédétection who are working on projects that are similar to um, 
to uh, cohesion in other areas of, uh, of the world. Uh, some special analyses uh, are going to be carried out using the base layers data created as well as the results from uh, remote sensing so that we can identify the four areas where further investigations are going to be carried out on biomedical and um, social sciences uh, approach and perspectives. And uh, we are also about to, uh, to start kicking off uh, the Open Science Animation Lab that, um, that, will, uh, that is part of the project uh, to innovate or have more impact, both in terms of capacity building, but also as well in terms of scientific valorizations. So I guess that uh, this is it for a snapshot on cohesion which, if we want to sum up, is uh, a project that uh, allows to answer the needs uh, in terms of geographical information, but also training skills uh, for a research unit which wants to do research with an impact in terms of uh, concrete uh, development deliverables beyond data. And uh, the way that uh, we have been able to do that is to harness on a long history of cooperations between IRD and uh, the OpenStreetMap ecosystems in uh, Ivory Coast so that uh, all the unfolding of the, this research project, all the decisions uh, in terms of what to do, what data to collect, how to use it, to address that specific needs, which methodology, everything is passed to uh, the team of mappers that are part of, uh, of the project. And uh, that this is also done with uh, the main GIS actors that are active in Boaké uh, at uh, associations or NGO or uh, within the government. So. That's it. If there is any equations, we're good for that. Otherwise, we can also move to the second part of that last component of the track. Do you have a, um, a website for the project question? There is no website yet. It's uh, being built uh, within the consortium, but there will be a web presence with uh, uh, information on the project and as well access to uh, the various work components and work packages of, uh, of that project.